Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to do an in depth review of the latest stable oxygen 13 update for the oneplus 8 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started so it has been a week since oneplus rolled out the stable oxygen 13 for the 8 series devices and since then i've been using it on my device so in this video i'm going to cover everything about the build the performance the battery backup the charging speeds and we'll also share some of the sample camera shots to see if there are any improvements if i go into the about info section the device is running the latest update of oxygenos 13 f.13 and the security patch is of 5th october 2022 if we talk about the battery backup the battery backup is good i'm getting close to 5 6 hours of screen on time with, without heavy gaming however there is kind of a little bug when you charge your device on the lock screen it says off charge but when you go into the battery menu it says super woke charging and if i talk about the charging speeds the charging speeds are also fine and i'm able to warp charge my device it all most takes 40 to 45 minutes to charge the device from 0 to 100% so no issues in the charging speed also the overall performance has been just great and i have not faced any bugs or lags in the day to day task now that i've been using this for over a week i don't have any complaints regarding the stability part as such the rom just flies through pretty much everything without any issues it is fast snappy and the animations are very good particularly and the device just feels smooth and fluid the background app management has also been really really good coming up to the camera so here i've clicked some sample shots after i updated the device to oxygen os 13 and as you can see i have not encountered any major changes regarding the camera quality the pictures are sharp the colors are vibrant but it is almost same as oxygen os 12 i have seen many users reported the jitter issues while recording 4k 60 fps video on the device so i have not faced that problem on this build if you talk about gaming you can play only till 60 fps in bgmi and there's no support for 90 fps if you are a serious gamer and want to do gaming you will need to install a custom rom or install oxygen os 11 However the device doesn't heat much while gaming and and you can enjoy your games for almost 2 hours without any significant heating. Apart from this there are some small bugs here and there. First up there is no font weight option for the default font and if you see another OnePlus fonts then you get the option for font weight. However you don't get the font weight option for the default font. Next you will also notice some small lags and jitters while using the YouTube application. I'm not sure if it's a issue with YouTube app or OnePlus device. And lastly if you use these icons on the lock screen you'll notice that the text starts to appear on the top of the fingerprint icon however that should not be the case so those are the only three bugs that i faced on the stable build of oxygen os 13 so that's it for today's video this was the in depth review of oxygen os 13 stable update for the 8 series overall the build is very stable and smooth and you can use it as a daily driver without any issues comment down your opinions regarding oxygen os 13 and if you are facing any problems subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching